to review our QAR reading strategy. That way, in case you're ever stuck, you can look back at this video for some extra help. Remember that we have two types of categories for our four questions in the QAR relationship. The first is in the text and the second is in my head. For in the text, we have the right there questions and the think and search. And for the in my head, we have the author and you and on my own questions. It's also important to remember why we do our QAR. We do them because when you know what type of question you have to answer, you're going to find your answer a lot quicker and your answer is going to turn out a lot better than if you're just guessing or searching aimlessly. So let's get our review started so you guys can all become experts. Our first type of in the text question is called a right there question because you can just push to it right in the text, it's, the answer is all in one sentence. So we're going to call this our finger pointer question. You just highlight it with your finger, it's right there, no need for extra thinking. Also, a lot of times our answer will be worded the same as our question, so you could use that as a reference. Our second type of in the text question is called a think and search. For this one, we're going to help us remember what it's called by thinking as ourselves as detectives. Because our answer is not going to be in just one sentence. You're going to have to pull multiple ideas from multiple sentences in order to get one correct answer. So just remember, think and search, you're going to be a detective. Alright, so that does it for in the text questions. Now moving on to in my head questions. The first one is called author and you. For this one we're going to think of a brain when we talk about it because you're going to be adding your previous knowledge in addition to what you just read in the text. You're not going to find your answer this time written on those pages. You have to add your previous knowledge in order to come to the right answer. Alright, and the last type of in my head question is called on my own, and that's right, you guessed it once again, our answer is not going to be in our text. This one you actually don't even need to read a text at all in order to answer the question, because the question's going to ask you about your experiences and your opinions on a topic, question. So for this one, I think about two people having a conversation, thoughts coming out, and normally in a writing, they show these thoughts in a thought bubble. So when we talk about on my own, I'm going to refer to a thought bubble. And if you're still not quite getting it, you need a little extra help, I have the notes online that you can print out to reference to, or also I found another YouTube video that was pretty cool, so you might want to check that out. I'll put that at the end of the video. Alright, thanks guys. Have a great day.